what's called on the bubble rig. So what is up YouTube? This is Drops of Gulf Coast Fishing 850. And if you can see in the background, my rods and reels are in the back of my truck. I just got back from fishing and I decided, let me make this intro for this video. So today, as you can see by the title, we are going to be making a bubble rig, showing you how to make it and, you know, see why it's effective. A bubble rig is a little clear plastic, you call it a bubble with water in it. You put your lure on the end, you throw it out. You jig it across the water, the bubble with the water in it, it splashes on the water, acting like a school of fish. You have your lure on the end of your monofilament leader and the fish sees it and strikes it. So that is what a bubble rig is and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one today. Enough of the talking, let's get to the video. I'm out, peace. <laughs> get into it so we're gonna start out with some basic things that you need for a bubble rig and lures you can use this is a yozuri this is a blue and silver lure kind of reminds you of a uh, menhaden lure shiny got dots on it like a menhaden this is very effective to catch king mackerel with, with a bubble rig and big Spanish mackerel. That's what I've noticed to be seen. You have your classic gotcha lure, silver with the orange head, or you can use gold with an orange head. Gold works pretty good. You also have this little, I'm not really sure what this is called, but I found it and I've seen people using it and they work really good on the end of uh, your bubble rig. You got your diamond jig. This is a, little fish diamond jig three quarter ounce and uh this is really effective as well and you got the og out of the bunch you got the golden spoon and this golden spoon is awesome you can see where it's been getting hit by, by uh, spanish mackerel and bluefish and the spoons have been around for a long time and they are really efficient when you use them in the water so let's start by this. This right here is, I'm not really sure what this is, but this works really good for mackerel in the water. And um, all this is right here is the sunglasses um, that you put in the back of your sunglasses to keep it from falling off and it's like the floats. And what you do is you just stick the leader material through it. And then you tie a treble hook onto your leader. And I'm not gonna do it but you know you get the thing you put the leader through and tie the treble hook on and after you got the, the treble hook tied onto the end of the leader then this right here just pushes in here and i guess it's because the color of it you know you got greens and pinks and oranges and whatever but the spanish mackerel seem to like this a lot and i'm not really sure but it's easy to make and save you money so this is the main key to your lure is your bubble. This is the bubble right here. This is the, the rig that you need. And what you do is you pop this off. So this right here sticks in here like this. You pull this back and you fill this up with water. So I got a cup of water here and I'm gonna fill this bubble up with water. So you pop that back and you stick that in here. And I'm spilling water everywhere. But it's bubbling up. It bubbles and once you get water in there you just take this right here and you get it in there put 
push it back like so and you have that water in that rig and that water does not come out so i'm gonna put that over there and what you can do is you get your bucket with water if you got some bait or whatever and you fill it up um you fill it up before you go or you can fill it up while you're on the water so right here you got some swivels two swivels right so you take your leader this is 60 pound leader material and you clip about i say about 10 inches so i'm gonna clip that here so you take one end of it and you tie it to your swivel and i'm probably gonna speed this video up because i know you guys are gonna watch this whole thing so here we go All right, and I'm back. I'm gonna clip it right here. So now your bubble is sitting in between two swivels, and it's probably about eight inches in between that uh, swivel on this 60 pound leader line. And some people actually put beads on the bottom part because in the top part because it's this knot, so that creates that knot from coming loose. Or, or busting your knot, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna clip that. So then, once you get that on there, I already have this golden spoon tied up because I was using it earlier. Same material, 60 pound leader. And you wanna make your leader at least three feet is what I use. So what you do is just tie this to the other side of the swivel. Like so. And I'm doing just a fisherman's knot and you twist it about eight times. And then you go through, pull it tight, strip it. Bam. So you have your golden spoon here to your leader material to the other swivel to the bubble. And then this side goes to your line on your pole. So in all, this is what your bubble rig looks like. This is your whole rig here. And these are your other lures that you can tie to this end. If your, you know, your bubble, um, not your bubble, I'm sorry. If your spoon isn't working, then you can try this, 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 this and this. Think all those options, guys. So make sure you always keep multiple lures in your tackle boxes because you never know what the fish is going to bite at that time of the day. One day they may bite the spoon. The next day, they might bite the Yozuru lure. The next day, they might bite the Gacha lure. So it's always good to have options. And make sure you have at least 40 to 60 pound leader material because those Spanish mackerels, mackerels will bite through that 20 pound line test or, or lower. Also, you can use steel leader. I don't like steel leader because after a couple of fish, it starts to... Uh, frizz up and tear and just bend and it don't work really efficiently so all right guys that's it if you're still here with me leave a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe and guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it's really helpful and go out and catch some fish on a bubble rig if you have any more questions or if you want me to make any kind of other how-to videos leave a comment below and i will get to that thank you and much love